hi everyone so welcome to the another video so in this video uh, we are going to see the new feature that comes out from the postman version 9.27.0 okay so starting from postman 9.27.0 uh, you can you can use your data file for the collection monitor right so so far what we have seen as a part of data driven testing you can have the collections in the collection you can have some variables so that variables you can send it from the external files like a csv file or json files right so this this being used only in the collections level okay if you want to create for example if you want to create like a multiple um, data creations or, or something like a creations although i mean kind of like a data setup so what we do we we have the excel sheet or csv file uh, or json file you have the data so when you when you pass the data file in the collection runner, so we were able to uh, run our collection, right? So for example, you can go to this collection runner, and when you go for a run, so here you can see the option to upload the data files, right? And here you can upload CSV file or JSON file. So the same thing, it is it is available now in the form of monitor as well. Okay, so in the monitor also, you can run some collections uh, which uh, required some data files to be shared. Okay, so now I have this collection. So in this collection, I have only one request. In that request, I'm using this page number as a data variable. Okay, so the data variable I'm maintaining here. So this is a page number. You can see this is a variable name. I have a page number one and two. So this is what I'm going to send it as a data variable. Okay. So now I'm going to run this collection. I have written some, some tests to uh, show the, the clear logs. So I'm just coming here and I'm just going to click on the run button. Okay, so here I'm just going to upload the CSV file what I have. Okay, this is my CSV file. You can see as soon as I upload, uh, it has a two files. I mean, it has a two data, right? So page number two iterations. So one and two, the page numbers, two iterations I have. So automatically it has predicted as a two, right? And you can see the data file is CSV and the file format also auto detected. Just click on the preview to make sure uh, everything looks clean. And just click on the run button. Okay, so now it is running for a two iteration. Right here you can see iteration one and iteration two. So first iteration is a page number, so value is going as a one. And for the second iteration, it is going as a two. So just click on the request URL, you can see first time it is one. For the second iteration, it is going as a two, right? So now I want to uh, have this monitor, the monitor as a collection level. Okay, I want to I want to pass the data sheet, which is not possible uh, in the previous versions of Postman. So right from 9.27.0, it is possible. Okay, so usually we'll go to a monitor here. Just click on create monitor. So you can give any any name. So I'm just giving as a data file monitor or something like that. and the select the collection that you want to pass. So in our case, it's a collection monitor. And if you have anything environment variable, for my case, there is no environment variable. If you want to have anything, you can pass that. So now you can see this file, I mean, this section, right? Upload a data file. So here, again, the same file, JSON or CSV. So I'm just going to upload uh, CSV first, okay? So the file is upload uh, and remaining things, it is all about the configuration. So I'm just ignoring all this. And I'm going to click on the create monitor. Okay, so monitor is created now. So now I'm I'm going to run it manually first time. So it is running now. Okay, so here you can see the response. So in the test results, you can see the first iteration it was going as a one, and the second iteration the page number is going as a two. And both tests are passed, right? So I don't have any failures here. If you go to the console log also. You can see the one and two, the, the iteration is going, right? So this is by using the uh, uh, CSV file. So similarly, you can have the, sorry, uh, JSON file also, okay? So now I'm going to upload as a, so this JSON file, this JSON file also is similar thing. I mean, um, it has only two variables, two iteration, one is a page number one and one is a page number two, right? So I'm going back to the postman. So I am uploading as a JSON file, okay? So this one also should work. I'm just clicking on the update monitor and I'm going to run more, one more time, okay? So I'm just clicking on manually run button. Yeah, so this one also working, okay? 
So I'm just going to pause the monitor because I don't want to run anymore. So now uh, the collections we were running by using the data files for the for the data driven testing. So now the the data driven is possible in the monitor also. Okay, you can create a collection and you can upload the file that you want to set. Okay, so this is available from the version nine point two point seven point sorry uh, nine point two seven point four. Okay, this is the new feature that Postman has brought up. That's all about this video. Uh, if you guys have any any doubt or any inputs on on creating the monitors or collections, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you, guys.